At a media briefing at the Government Information Department, a group of ministers of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party spoke on the President's term in office. Members of the Executive Committee brought up a question regarding the President's term in office. At that instance, Minister Faisal Mustafa pointed out that the five-year term of the President, as stated in the 19th Amendment of the Constitution, only applies to Presidents who are appointed after the passage of the 19th Amendment. He also explained that the people voted for this President to be in office for six years, and therefore even the President cannot reduce his six-year term. I will read out the article of the 19th Amendment on the President's term in office. The President of the Republic shall be elected by the people and shall hold office for a term of five years. So when this amendment was passed, His Excellency the President was already in office. According to the Constitution, the President was appointed as the Executive President for a six-year term. So he needs a legal status for this matter. His desire is irrelevant to this. The question which was raised was not with regard to the President's desire, but with regard to its legality, which means His Excellency the President can remain in his seat during the next general election. That is the legal aspect of it. However, he can have the desire to call for a presidential election before that. So I would like to specially mention that I am talking here today about the legal aspect of it. This should not be misinterpreted.